Forget compost tea. This new soil drink works 10 times faster. What if you could give your garden a living super drink that boosts microbial life 10 times faster than compost tea, using nothing more than grass, sugar, and a splash of milk culture? That's exactly what this super brew does. It's a living soil tonic that wakes up your garden almost overnight, delivering a rush of beneficial microbes, enzymes, and plant nutrients straight into your soil's bloodstream. Today on Soil and Crops Central, we're diving deep into how to make it, why it works so fast, and exactly how much to use for your garden. The secret behind the super brew? Forget slow brewing compost teas that take days to bubble, stir, and strain. This new soil drink uses a faster biological engine, lactic acid fermentation, to create a potent microbial cocktail in just a few days. It's made from three humble ingredients, blended grass clippings, molasses or brown sugar, and a simple milk-based culture known as LAB, or lactic acid bacteria. When these three combine, they transform into a living extract that feeds plants, improves soil structure, and restores the invisible life beneath your feet. The reason it works faster is simple. Lactic acid bacteria multiply much more quickly than the microbes found in compost tea. When fed with sugar and blended greens, they create a nutrient-rich liquid filled with beneficial enzymes, organic acids, and plant growth compounds. This super brew doesn't just feed your plants, it awakens your soil biology in record time. Each ingredient plays a critical role. Fresh grass is packed with chlorophyll, amino acids, and simple nutrients, the perfect food base for microbes. When you blend grass, you're unlocking those nutrients instantly instead of waiting months for decomposition. Molasses, or brown sugar, feeds those microbes with simple carbohydrates, ensuring they multiply fast while helping to extract plant compounds through osmotic pressure. The LAB culture acts like a fermentation starter, lowering pH and crowding out harmful bacteria while promoting beneficial life. Together, these three create a perfect environment for fermentation. Within a few days, you get a stabilized living extract that keeps active for months and delivers nutrients and microbes directly into your garden soil. It's clean, fast, and powerful. The modern version of compost tea that actually gets results you can see. Making this soil drink doesn't require special tools, but a few key choices make a big difference. Always use unsulfured molasses or natural brown sugar. Sulfured types can suppress microbial growth. Use glass, ceramic, or food-grade plastic containers only. Metal reacts with acids and can harm your brew. Keep everything clean, but not sterile. A little natural microbe life helps the process. Cover your jar with a breathable cloth or a loose lid so gases can escape, but contaminants stay out. Pay attention to smell and sight. A pleasant sour or sweet fermented aroma means the brew is healthy. If it ever smells rotten or develops thick mold, toss it and start fresh. A pH around 4.0 is perfect. That sourness is a sign of beneficial lactic activity. Now, let's make the magic happen. Start with 500 grams of fresh green grass clippings. The younger and greener, the better. Chop them finely or pulse them in a blender with 500 milliliters of dechlorinated water to form a thick slurry. Pour this into a clean 2-liter jar. Add 500 grams of brown sugar and stir thoroughly until it dissolves. If you're using molasses instead of sugar, add 200 to 300 milliliters of unsulfured molasses. It's more concentrated, so you need less. Next, add 10 to 20 milliliters of Lay B starter, which is simply the liquid produced when milk or rice wash is fermented with naturally occurring lactic acid bacteria. Stir everything gently, cover the jar with a breathable cloth or loose lid, and place it in a shaded spot at room temperature between 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. Let it ferment for 3 to 7 days. During this time, you'll notice slight bubbling a yeasty or tangy smell, and maybe a thin layer of foam. Those are good signs. It means your microbes are thriving. 
When the smell becomes distinctly sour-sweet and the bubbling slows, strain out the solids and store the liquid in a cool shaded area or in the fridge. This is your concentrate, and honestly, it's incredibly potent. Testing microbial activity at home is simple. The bubbling you see is carbon dioxide, proof that your microbes are alive and respiring. The smell should remind you of yogurt, fermented fruit, or even cider vinegar, not rot or sewage. If you have pH paper, dip a strip in. A reading around pH 4.0 confirms that lactic fermentation is complete and your brew is stable. Here's where most people get it wrong. This brew is concentrated and overusing it can really overwhelm young roots. The right dilution is what honestly makes it magic. For most garden applications, you'll want to dilute one part of the concentrate to about 800 parts of water. That's roughly in the middle of the recommended 1 to 500 to 1 to 1000 range. So, if you've got a 100 square foot garden bed, you'll need about 6 liters of diluted solution to soak the soil properly. To make that, just measure out 7.5 milliliters, or about 1.5 teaspoons, of your grass molasses concentrate and add it to 6 liters of dechlorinated water. Then, add 6 milliliters, which is about 1 and a third teaspoons, of your Elab culture. Stir that well until it's fully mixed. Now you've got the ready-to-use version of your soil drink. You can apply it as a gentle soil drench or as a foliar spray. For soil application, pour it evenly around the base of your plants until the surface is moist but not soaked. For foliar feeding, use a fine sprayer and mist the leaves in the late afternoon or early evening, when sunlight is soft. This lets the microbes settle in without any UV damage. Apply this once per week during the growing season, especially during early growth and flowering. Within days, you'll notice a richer soil smell, faster decomposition of organic matter, and stronger plant growth. The real magic here isn't about feeding the plants directly, but about feeding the microscopic life that, in turn, feeds them. Your concentrate can last for months if you store it properly. Just keep it sealed in a shaded, cool place. If it ever smells putrid or develops mold, it's time to start a fresh batch. Always use dechlorinated water when you're diluting. Chlorine can kill those beneficial microbes instantly. If your plants seem a little sluggish, check your dilution rate before you think about increasing frequency. Stronger isn't always better. Consistency matters way more than intensity. Those weekly microdoses help build a living soil culture that keeps regenerating itself. Think of this as probiotic care for your garden. Gentle, regular feeding is what keeps your soil alive and balanced. Using this natural soil drink regularly can really transform compacted, lifeless dirt into a living, breathing soil system. It improves texture, increases moisture retention, and supports faster root expansion. Over time, your plants become more resilient to drought, pests, and nutrient stress. You'll also notice your soil develops a rich, earthy aroma. That's the smell of microbial life thriving underground. This is the same principle used in regenerative farming systems all around the world, just scaled down for the home gardener. With nothing more than grass, sugar, and milk culture, you're actually harnessing nature's most powerful biological tool fermentation. Forget the old compost tea routine. This super brew is faster, cleaner, and honestly, 10 times more effective at building microbial activity in your soil. It's easy to make, cheap to maintain, and the results really do speak for themselves. Stronger roots, greener leaves, and healthier soil within weeks. If you found this soil recipe valuable, make sure to subscribe to Soil and Crops Central, share this video with a fellow gardener, and start brewing your own living soil drink today. The secret to thriving plants isn't in expensive products. It's in giving your soil the living boost it's been waiting for.